What up you guys, it is Nightmare, bringing you some Battlefield Bad Company 2 commentary on the map Arica Harbor, using a ton of different weapons. And now you see, um, I've been thinking about a subject the last few days, and I decided I might uh, address it here today. And no, it's not any fanboy stuff about Battlefield or Call of Duty, and so you can get that right out of your head. Um... I just thought you guys would like to know how I became a battle fan, ba Battlefield fan <laughs> and um, how it made a giant impact in my gaming life. <laughs> now you see back back in 2006 or 7 I think it was I was not really into gaming. Uh, I think my first first person shooter I ever played was Halo. Uh, I think it was Halo 1. We, me and my friend and uh, his brother and dad we used a system link uh, in like different rooms uh, we used to like 2v2 system link like so we couldn't screen peek or anything it was pretty fun we play that shit for hours and it was it was a great time I'll tell you um, that uh, back then I was kind of a halo guy I used to go over there every day just to play <laughs> um, so times have changed. Uh, around 2007, I got into the COD phase, but I'll leave that to another video, probably a Call of Duty video, maybe in the next few days. Um, but around 2007-ish to maybe early 2008, um, my brother, my friend's brother, uh, was playing a lot of Battlefield uh, 2, like the original Battlefield 2, not Bad Company 2, because I don't, I don't think it was out yet. No, it wasn't out yet. Uh, I used to play a lot of Battlefield 2, like, on the story mode. Uh, not really much on the multiplayer, because he said he didn't really like it that much. So I'm like, alright, uh, I started playing the single player, so, you know, get a good feel of the game. Because I wasn't really a uh, first-person shooter kind of guy. Uh, I was more like an adventure game, but I wasn't really much of a gamer like I am nowadays. Like, I'd play occasionally, but, you know, not enough to call me like a a no life or, or something I mean yeah uh, after I became uh, into Battlefield and Call of Duty uh, I, I really <laughs> I became a pretty heavy gamer I mean not that I don't have a social life or anything like I go outside and I hang out with my friends and stuff but like uh, I play a lot of video games <laughs> and uh, after getting my PVR I've been playing a lot more I mean not PVR I might have a dazzle but I guess the quality's pretty good, right, guys? I mean, it's not amazing, and uh, it's nothing perfect, but uh, I do bring you some pretty good uh, gameplay. <laughs> the gameplay you're looking at right now is like a, uh, I don't know, like a 20-something, and uh, I'm not sure how many deaths I had, but it was an alright game, and I fast-forward a shitload of parts, and I hope you don't get motion sick or something, you know, looking at my commentaries, because... That's the last thing I want is to make you guys feel uncomfortable while you're watching my videos because that's probably the last thing any commentator wants. <laughs> but um, you see that game I was playing here was like 25 minutes long and you know I don't feel like uploading it more than one part and to be honest I can't even ramble on for 25 minutes because you know I, I usually run out of a lot of stuff to say then I just ramble on like uh, blue, uh, like that but um, I think this is a little bit of a better commentary for me anyway. Um, Battlefield are t tensely long games, and, uh, that's why I, like, fast-forward parts, you know, when you die, you get your kill cam, you switch your kit, you choose where you respawn, and, uh, towards the end, um, I kind of skip, like, a shit ton of part. I'm sorry about that, um, but I had to get this video under 10 minutes. I know the YouTube limit is 15, but, uh... I, well, the program I render with, which is PowerDirector 8, you, you, uh, there's a direct upload to YouTube button, which is what I use when I uh, upload videos, so, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, really outdated, I guess you could say, and, um, it says you can't upload a video if it's, under, if it's uh, under, I mean, uh, over 10 minutes. And, uh, honestly, I don't feel like rendering it the other way, because if you do that, then you have to... It doesn't take long when you render an AVI, which quality comes out great. But then you need to transfer it to YouTube, which rendering on YouTube takes a long ass time. That's why I render on PowerDirector, which saves me 
loads of time, loads and loads of time, and usually I render a video when I'm sleeping, like, you know, I wake up really early in the morning, put the video together, click the render button, go back to sleep, wake up, and it's done, perfectly done. So, uh, that's, that's kind of how I render, and I usually do my commentaries the night before, so, uh, <laughs> right now it's, uh, 1.15 a.m., ooh. And uh, I'm watching the N004500 live stream because Ivan's a fucking beast, and I think he's playing NBA 2K11 right now. But anyway, I'm gonna get back on the subject because I, I kind of skipped away there. Um, started playing the single player to Battlefield 2, and uh, I, I asked if I could play multiplayer, and he said, "All right," because you know at the time he was it was on the uh, Xbox 360, and at the time he was like, "Yeah, all right," because they had internet and everything, and I'm like, "All right." So I started playing and I was really, really bad. Uh, like, I got destroyed every other, like, every game actually. But I absolutely loved it. <laughs> like, I didn't, like, pick up the game, play it for, like, a game and a half, realize I suck at it, and then just stop playing like most of the COD community nowadays do. I mean, majority of the COD community does not give Battlefield the chance because it's too fast. Well, not too fast-paced. It's too realistic and too slow-paced. I'm air-quoting right now because it's it's not really slow-paced at all. Um, but when you get into a... Sometimes if you're sitting in the back of the map sniping, I could see how it's slow-paced. Because that's where most uh, Call of Duty guys kind do when they play the game. They, like, either they're running around with a shotgun because they can't, you, you know, use anything else. Or they're sitting in the back of the map using an M24 sniping. I mean... Lately, I've been running into a lot of games where people are like rank, I don't know, 2, 3, 4, around there, you know, 10 or 14. I'm, I'm not sure if they just don't have enough time to play or they're just new because the Battlefield 3 trailers are coming out and everybody's starting to love the game and everybody's, everybody is like turning their backs on Call of Duty and I find it fucking hilarious because I became a giant Battlefield fanboy <laughs> lately. But, um, I gotta get back into the subject, because I only got three more minutes to, to, well, not really three more minutes, like two more minutes to talk, so, uh, anyway, I played this, I played the multiplayer, uh, it was a lot of fun after a while, because then I started getting good, and getting in tanks, and helicopters, and the fun shit, and then, uh, you know, in around 2008, uh, my friend bought Battlefield Bad Company 1, um, but we never played it online, but I absolutely loved the building destruction. I thought it was fucking genius. And at the time, it was like uh, really late 2008 or a little bit in 2009, I'm not sure. Um, but my friend was really obsessed with Modern Warfare 2. I don't know why, because that game was absolutely garbage. Um, but... At the time, he was obsessed with Modern Warfare 2, and I used to go over his house and play, and when he first played the multiplayer, uh, single player, he's like, you know, this is, this game's crappy, and I'm like, dude, it's got building destruction, the, the sound is so much better, and the quality is, the, uh, graphics are great, and he's like, nah, it's just uh, not me, it's not good as, it's not as good as COD, and I'm like, alright, because I wasn't going to fight with him about it, because we usually used to go back and forth about which game is better, and then, um, uh, I showed him the trailer for Battlefield Bad Company 2, and he thought it was amazing. So he got it for his birthday in March 2010. It was like the original date it came out. So I'm like, all right, dude, let's just let's check this shit out. So he got it for his birthday. We started playing the uh, multiplayer. He hated it. I loved it. Uh, a few days later, he called me up. He's like, hey, Mike, um, you wanna? What are you doing? I'm like, nothing much. And I go over his house, and I ask him to borrow the game. He's like, yeah, dude, I, I don't really care. I don't really play it anyway. It's just sitting on the desk. So I ended up borrowing it for like four months. Absolutely fucking loved the game so much. I got addicted to this game, guys. And um, and then uh, it got, you know, the circle scratch in the bottom. I was devastated. I was pissed. Uh, I didn't have it majority of summer 2010. So, um... That was bad. <laughs> I got it fixed finally. I paid like two bucks to fix it, <laughs> which was great price. And um, yeah, I started playing it some more until like December of 2010 after I got Vietnam uh, for Christmas. And then um, he took it back like a douche after I got Call of Duty. 
And then uh, my mom and my sister got me a Battlefield uh, for a really late birthday present, I guess you could say. And uh, I, not really a late birthday present. I had to bring a bunch of my games back to get it. And um, yeah, I took it from there. And my, uh, my friend John got me, uh, well, he bought Battlefield and he got 1943 for free. So he gave me the code. I got 1943. That's my Battlefield story. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to save this to your favorites if you love it. And if you do, please leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you all. Peace out.